basically I want to touch how to log into the LMS now the first thing to do is when you come open your browser and paste the link once you paste the link it will bring you up here and what you need to do is impute your login details that is your username and your password and your username usually is by your staff number without all those hyphen and all that and it must be in small letter it must be in small letter i'm going to use my for example it must be in small letter if you are uh, tplt it will be tplt then the number without slash all in lower in, in small letter okay if it is aca it must be in small letter if it is s it must be in small letter the point is that all of your your username must be in small letter then the password the default password i use for everyone is uni abuja that is u n i a b u j a you can type it first in your username so that you will see what you are copying right when you don't type in it then copy it or cut it off then come down and paste it type the password there to be sure there is no error in what you are typing okay then cut it and paste it when you're done click on click to login now once you do that it will take you straight into the learning management system and the landing page is where you see your registered courses first and we made it so accessible that after it has shown you your registered courses in a situation where there are other courses that are not among the registered courses and they are supposed to be the course or they are supposed to be the one of, they are supposed to be courses that you will teach you can come down you will see available courses and if you scroll down 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 you will see available courses there you can see search to register your courses if i have one or two or three courses that i'm supposed to be registering and it is not part of what i have you can come here and register there but the point is that once you are having it registered you must indicate like you must get in touch so that you can because if you are registering using any of this method the system will flatly put you as a student it will not put you as a lecturer it will put you as a student because you are using a self enrollment method so you may need to let us know so that you will be upgraded to a lecturer or given the lecturer privilege okay now back to to the list of courses that you have these are all the registered courses registered in terms of allocated courses now we were all blankly allocated courses that are within her department regardless of the course allocation we do not just want to wait because the essence of the elements is to just kind of prepare us before the virtual classes okay now you have a whole lot of courses that are not even your own you can simply unregister yourself from them okay you can simply unregister yourself from them that's one number two we also there is a video that i'll make a video on how to get yourself unregistered from them also another point is that you have one or two persons that are enrolled in your course and you want to get them out that is you want to unregister them or you want to enroll them it is also very possible for you so that at the end of the day you will get to have only your allocated courses here if it is two or three but blankly we are all giving all the courses as instructor but the person that supposed to take a particular course definitely knows his, his, his or her own course okay but the first thing to do is not even to go into the courses so in a situation where your title was not well captured you have a privilege of having, having it done here because it is not everybody that was invited for the final presentation or final, for the final defense so it may not be possible that we have the updated record of your title you may have your phd last last two three four months but the data we used here they were data of 2019 2020 2021 2022 a long time ago so it might not be updated except for the very few that they informed that oh yeah i'm done with my phd so i can then be referred to as this and her so those ones we can then go back and update their that is for title as per name I, I i doubt there will be an error on name so in a situation where you, you have such this is this is 
an avenue for you to get it done so after you have logged into the elements the first thing to do is come to the top right hand side here you will see profile click on profile click on profile it's going to open this place up for you now you see right here edit profile click on edit profile there you can correct yourself i mean you can make the necessary correction if i'm not supposed to be mr i'm, I'm supposed to be referred to as professor you can put it there you understand your son name your last name your email address this is where you can correct the bunch of them your town this is actually what tells students who you are because they will have access to this once they log in okay as their lecturer you, this is where you get to tell them who you are the country you are from and all that if you have short descriptions about you come on with it and put it up here now you have picture to upload on your profile this is where you get it done let's assume that i want to uh use a, 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 like for instance if you have your cv let me just use that as this is not part of what we're supposed to take but let's assume that you have your cv there is a way you can come up with short description from using your cv go to chat gpt that could help you go to chat gpt that is chat dot openai.com or you go to chat gpt this way that is if you so care about having this description then paste your cv here paste your cv right in here it's until right you can just see that right me um description that i could use on my website using the information below you understand then down like this then you paste your cv immediately you click on this button it will generate it will give you short description that you can then just copy the description and bring it here okay that is if you so care about description anyway now on under the user profile you can upload your passports there just explore them your ID number your department your phone number your mobile number your address and, and when you're done with everything simply come here and click update that's all that's all that's how to update your profile and that's actually supposed to be the first thing you will do immediately you get into the learning management system thank you